The Seventh Station Jesus Falls for the Second Time We adore Thee, O Christ, and we bless Thee, because by Thy holy cross Thou hast redeemed the world. We had all gone astray like sheep, each following his own way. But the Lord laid upon him the guilt of us all. Though he was harshly treated, he submitted and opened not his mouth. Like a lamb led to the slaughter, or a sheep before the shearers, he was silent and opened not his mouth. Isaiah 53 verse 6 to 7. Those whose steps are guided by the Lord, whose way God approves, may stumble, but they will never fall, for the Lord holds their hand. Psalm 36, verse 23 to 24. In spite of the help of the Cyrenian, the weight of the cross is crushing who, upon falling for the second time under these circumstances, would not remain prostrate. It was the moment to surrender. But Jesus wants to take this holocaust to the end. How the stones along the path were painless in comparison with the sufferings that were to come. Once again, Jesus wishes to show us how far our confidence should go, even when we relapse into the same faults. The Redeemer is always ready to pardon us. Since He has taken our sin upon Himself, He will never fail to raise us. Through the infinite merits of Thy second fall, Confirm me in thy grace, I implore thee, through Mary most holy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, victim for sinners, have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithfully departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace.